Hi, I'm Luna. I'm a research assistant at POCOG and my poster is on a review of bereavement resources available at an Australian healthcare setting, um, specifically Nepea and Blue Mountains Local Health District in New South Wales. And we were looking at the understandability and actionability using the patient education materials assessment tool, readability using the Sydney Health Literacy Lab editor and the Flesh Kincaid grade level, um, relevancy to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people using Diaz et al's seven item checklist and uh, which was applied by two Aboriginal members of the research team and cultural relevancy by assessing the availability of resources in languages other than English and the cultural inclusivity of information and services. And we found uh, through reviewing 30 resources um, that the majority of resources were not understandable or actionable. They required a high level of literacy. They were not relevant to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and they were only minimally inclusive to cold populations. So really the implications of this research, um, it shows that uh, from a health service perspective, both for Nepean Blue Mountains Local Health District and for other health services across New South Wales and Australia, it really emphasises the importance of ongoing maintenance and quality review of resources. Um, and then from a broader perspective for government agencies and community organisations, it, it, re it, it really shows the importance of considering usability, literacy, relevancy to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and cultural and linguistic inclusivity when developing resources. So engaging in co-design process with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander populations and cold communities and including tools like the PMAT and readability calculators when developing these resources to make sure that they are accessible and inclusive. Thank you.